His featured camp is called Camp Luminari, geared toward teaching teens leadership and life skills that they can share with others. There are several camps available for cooking, writing, public speaking, and <clears throat> excuse me, diplomacy and leadership. Yeah, and here to tell us more about it is one of the camp's directors, Gina Catanzari. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. Yeah, well, so the, the idea of this, it's for young ladies and it's... It, it's for... Uh, all kids. Oh, I'm sorry. All kids okay. rising 8th to 12th graders. Okay. And there are diverse camps, but the idea is that everybody gets out in some new experience and broadens their minds. Okay. And luminary means sharing your expertise with another person, and that's what we like, the ripple effect the where ripple you effect. can use those skills and services of others in your community and share and inspire people. And so several of the camps have already happened, but there is still one left. Right. Teen Writer is the camp I'm the director mm -hmm. of, and that happens July 15th to 18th. But the great thing about all of our camps, camp, I want to be an ambassador, mm -hmm. and um, Camp Speak and Tell, which is going on now, and Camp Delicious is, all of them fill up quickly but we have scholarship opportunities and we have opportunities for parents to as early as October start looking online and getting their kids involved and applying for early bird discounts or need-based scholarships but it's really exciting too because they could look on Facebook and we have lots of pictures of what the kids are doing so parents can sort of creep on their kids and yeah. see how they're being engaged right and we've talked about Camp Delicious on this show before that's wonderful for any kids whether they right. want to be a chef or not they just have interest in cooking. that's it and the idea is broadening your mind and and really, if you think about somebody's first engagement with a culture, usually it's through food. Right. So they're learning skills, they're learning farm to table, they're cooking and becoming self-sufficient, but they're also exploring new cultures and new tastes and new flavors, and that's mind-broadening in itself. Yeah, and tell us about your writing. So you, you, when they end in this, they will be able to write a book. <laughs> no, and that's the great part about it. So many parents come to me and say, my kids start something, but they never finish it. Well, of course, that's how we train as writers. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't say, my son or daughter wants to be the quarterback, so here's the Super Bowl, go out and play. Right. Right. So what we do at Teen Writers, go out on all these creative excursions. We learn how to hone the curiosity. We're out in the world. We go everywhere, and we... We eavesdrop, we are inspired by our environment, we observe settings, and then how do you incorporate that into your sensory descriptions? How do you look at somebody in the world and then sort of use that as motivation for character? What are ways that we could enrich our plots? We see something and then say, what if? And that's what they'll leave with all these tools they can continue to apply. So for the camp that's coming up, your, your camp uh, in July, is this an overnight camp and where? No, we have four days and okay. it's nine to three, so it's palatable for teenagers. Mm -hmm. right. And I don't give them homework. It's really about being creative while we're there. We held it at the um, Ellis School in Oakland. It's convenient for people to get right. there. And we just really see the city through new eyes and inspire their creativity while they're building skills. And that's really what all of them are about. Even I want to be an ambassador, which is celebrating its 10th year. It was the first mm -hmm. camp, and so we're very happy that Luminari is uh, still here for its 10th anniversary. It's all about getting kids out and building these tools to collaborate and solve problems and broaden your mind and meet new cultures and right. people. And your energy is so infectious. I, can, I think this camp would be so much fun. I want to take part in it. <laughs> and you guys talk about the ripple effect. The right? ripple effect. So ambassador is a great example of that. And mm -hmm. I want to be an ambassador. Somebody might think, well, my kid doesn't want to be in foreign service. That's not what it's about. How do you be an ambassador to solve problems in your school, in your family, in your community? And all of these skills that they learn mm -hmm. are things they can immediately put into practice. This. And they learn from these great luminaries who come in, who speak about business, who speak about inclusion, who help them build skills. And then the back half of that camp, they go to Washington, D.C. They visit embassies. They visit the U.S. State Department. They go on tours of the monuments. And what a neat experience. And they leave feeling changed. I really believe yeah. that. That's not just something to fill up the summer hours. And the most important thing is it doesn't feel like school. None of these camps feel like summer schools. Yes. You will not see them sitting at a desk listening to a lecture. You know, they are <laughs> out and about. If anything, all of the kids, even in teen writers, say, I'm exhausted. I thought I'd be sitting here. And they're not. Right. Yeah. Well, Very that says neat. something. Yeah, thank you so much for coming on Thanks, and, and talking about this. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. And find out more about Camp Luminari for teens online. You'll find the link at PittsburghTodayLive.com.